Yo guys, I'm gonna try to keep this intro short for you, but basically as you read in the title, we're gonna be trying to learn how to 3D model in 10 days only. Um, quick disclaimer, I have some experience in modeling with Unity Pro Builder, which has a similar interface to Blender. To demonstrate my current 3D modeling knowledge, I'll be giving you a demo of my work, and that's going to start now. Alright, let's get started. So, we have a default cube, that's all we have, so... First up, what are, we, what are we gonna do? Um, how do I start this? Is there is there a way to select like a face of the cube? I guess we're just gonna scale this. There we go. And what do I have? I have like two legs on each side of my desk. So my plant is over here. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. Edit. Oh, what does this do? Bro, it won't stop. How do I get out of here? No. Um. Well, we we have three shelves up here. One's big. The other two are like the same size. Okay. So what? Here, let me just freestyle this. This might not look the cleanest. Hey, there we go. There's our monitor. What did I just create? What did I just create? We need some milk. I don't know what this is, but you know what? We're gonna keep it just for the meme. Alrighty, after a lot of experimenting and chaos, this is the final result. Make sure you keep this in mind and use this as reference for my current skill level. Without further ado though, let's officially start day one of the challenge. Good morning guys, it is officially day one of this challenge. I wanted to see if we could try and mess around with Blender a bit before we get serious, so I'm just gonna randomly click on buttons and stuff. What is this? Whoa. Oh, you could draw in Blender in 3D. How does it know at what depth you're drawing at? Can I do? <laughs> How do I delete? Shading, new. Whoa, this is weird. Base color. So is this basically just the material? I don't know what this means. I don't know what any of these mean. Modifier, subdivision, surface. Bam, 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 bam. Oh shoot! I probably shouldn't be doing that. Uh, let's, let's make a, a face. This is gonna be cursed, bro. Ew. Oh my god. Bro, this is gonna sound weird, but this gives me Kirby vibes combined with Dr. Disrespect. I don't know. Alright guys, we're back. Um, now let's find a tutorial to use. Low Poly. Ooh, Apex came up with a new launch trailer. Hold up. Nah, we'll watch that later. We'll watch that. Low Poly Weapons. I know, I spelled weapons wrong. Whatever. I haven't looked at the camera in a bit. How you doing? Alright, now this is awkward. I'm gonna stop. Alright, let's follow this guy. Let's follow this guy. Okay, he created a cube. Time in type mode. 8 to select everything. Scale 0 0.02. Uh, what? Huh? Oh, he scaled it down? I mean, he made it brown? How did he do that already? Oh, shoot. Hold up. How did he make it brown that quickly and like scale it down in it? Oh my gosh, this dude is fast. 2,000 years later. Alright, it took a heck of a long time to make it here, but the results are so worth it. I basically followed the tutorial. Yes, it took a long time to actually figure out what he was saying, but I followed the tutorial, did a weapon or two, and then after that, I kind of just went freestyle and made my own weapons. They turned out way better than I expected, and I think it's a really good start for day one. But coming up next, let's officially start day two. Hey, I'm back. It is day two, and I kind of did a bit of stuff while I wasn't recording, I apologize, but today I thought I'd mess with shaders. Um, these are all tutorials that I followed, and then I kind of added my own clip. For these two, I'm gonna try to attempt not to follow any tutorial whatsoever. Let's start off by adding a material, now we gotta add some noise. Let's see what noise texture does. Color ramp for every single one of these, we got, that's a must have. Um, I'm gonna open color hunt the same color palette I started to do for the cyber weapon last tutorial I watched the guy said layer weight is really fun to mess around with so let's mess around with layer weight oh is that this now it's starting to look like the thing I did over here now let's combine these two what happens oh that looks it's like almost like this but it's not that's cool that's a really cool effect Alrighty guys, here's the final result for day two. I ended up following the tutorial for the last one, but regardless, it's time to move on to day three. Yo guys, it is day three of our 10 day 
blender learning challenge thingy. We are a bit ahead of schedule. So I was scrolling through YouTube looking what we could do. I came across this YouTuber, Ducky3D, and there's a ton of really cool projects he has going on here. Let's pick one of these and try to follow the tutorial best we can. So, my PC crashed in the middle of rendering, and for some reason I thought it was a good idea not to save the project beforehand. So, instead of redoing that entire thing, which there's no chance I'm redoing that, we're going to try to do something simple and 3D model some low poly plants. Alright, let's get to it. Alt M E to extrude. <laughs> what if we make the goofiest looking tree? <laughs> Bro, look at this tree. What is that? We got a reflective joke tree with a monkey in it. Create a cylinder, make the vertices into six to add that low poly type of feel. And then we're gonna scale this down. Wow! Oh. Shifty, scale this one. This tree is looking flat. Cylinder again. Control R, one, two, three. Bro, oh, this is Ron Weasley's broken wand. Yo guys, it is day two. Day two? It is not day two. I meant day four, I'm sorry. Today, I thought we could try um, 3D modeling with Blender reference images. Blender reference image reference, all right. There we go. I think he imported a plane. How does that look for a handle? Can we use our knife here? And then we could delete the face. I wonder if I could just cut with my knife the whole time. We're just gonna cut our whole way around this. Delete edges. There we go. Yo guys, it is day five of our 10 day blender challenge. Today we're gonna try to work with particles. Let's just do the grass. If we go to desktop, now we have this grass. Import images planes. Right click, subdivide 50. I'm gonna select any vertex here. I'm gonna hit G. Go. If I grab it, it just does that. Am I supposed to grab a general area? No, that doesn't look right. You make this into a particle system by doing that. Change it to hair. Change the hair length to like 0.3. Over 9,000. Advanced physics. Basically, you change the brownie and whatever that means. Oh my gosh, look at how crazy that is, bro. We're gonna lower that for sure. Yeah, and there we go. There's our grass. Yo guys, it is day six, officially more than halfway through this challenge. Um, yesterday we did particles, today we're gonna try to learn how to use physics. I have this tutorial already pulled up by Blender Guru, and we're gonna try to follow it. Rotate X90, uh, edit mode, select the top. Oh shoot, I missed a single vertice. We're gonna duplicate it, and then rotate it by 90 degrees. Oops, that's the wrong way. Bro, am I stupid? Rigid body plane, lower this down, scale it up to like 30. You know what? I want to make my wrecking ball a monkey. Don't what? ask why, I just, I just want to make it a monkey. <laughs> Bro, plane out just hits it. Okay, blender is not responding. That's not good. Yo guys, for day 7 and 8, things got a little boring, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to quickly compact what happened in those days so that I can make this section a little bit shorter. As you know, in day 6, my blender stopped responding, so I spent the morning of day 7 fixing that up and redoing the rigid body simulation. Here's a preview of the finished animation. On day seven, I also wanted to mess around with even more physics, so I did some soft body simulations. And this one I think turned out really nice and satisfying. Oh! 
for day 8, I finally got to experience how long rendering really takes in Blender. I followed a tutorial on Polygon Runway on how to make a beach. I followed the tutorial and made a few alterations and this is the final result. Yo guys, it is finally the second to last day of this 10 day blender challenge. Yes, I have storage on my iPhone now. So something I've been holding back a little bit on is 3D modeling characters. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not even recording. I'm stupid. I'm gonna add the mirror modifier, skin modifier, subdivision surface, alt M collapse. Control A, Y? Wait, what happened to my foot here? Oh bro, my his God. foot broke. Yeah, I might have to redo this. Extreme upwards. He got a mega big head though, but oh yeah, fat boy. Got sharp fingers. He's killer. Ew, bro. He looks weird. Guys, we're back. We're back. Why did I? Whatever. Yeah, this dude is huge. And he move these closer. Yeah, he's gonna scale the chest up. It's weird because he looks skinny and fat at the same time. I never save while I'm doing these projects. I gotta start saving. Okay, his his second character looks a lot better than mine. I mean, the chest looks good, but like starting on the hands. I only know how to make characters, sort of. And it's only it's only been the morning. Yo guys, we are back and I was searching for tutorials. I went to my guy Polygon Runway, found a short little tutorial about a portal. And since we have so much time today, this is probably what we're going to be working on for most of the day, if not all the day. Is it dark in here? Is that big? No, that looks So select these two points, Control Shift B, and he wants to put these two really close to the center. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Alt S, we got to remember that. Extrude? No, he definitely did not extrude. Modifier, bevel, shade smooth, and then auto smooth. Can I try rotating it? Does that look cool, guys? Probably add a bit more turbulence, in my opinion. About five, if we go all the way up to 10. That looks like a different type of portal. It's almost done, just load already, please. Many months later. Alrighty, so this is the final result after two hours of rendering. I think it turned out way better than I expected, way, way better. And as you can tell, I made a lot of different twists that weren't shown in the tutorial. I started with a medieval type vibe in my head and wait a minute, what is that? Yo guys, it is officially the last day of our 10 day blender challenge. Um. I have a bit of bad news because I have to go somewhere later today and I'm going to be busy. So we're going to have less time to work on our project. For this last day, we're going to 3D model a scene completely freestyle without any tutorials. My current plan is to make an indoor sci-fi alien lab and we'll just freestyle from there. Okay, so we're starting off with the floor. Scale this up to 10. Grab this. Extrude. Let's start off with the alien container thing. So I would start off with a big cylinder, inset it, and this will be our main tube. Something like that, maybe? Hmm. Something like this. Yeah, that looks better. Yo, guys, I'm back. Oh! It is already nighttime. As you could tell from the dark background behind me. <laughs> but besides the point, we have finally finished our final render for day 10. So this is where we made it. After 10 straight days of 3D modeling, this is our final result to show for it. Everything you see in this scene was made completely from scratch without any help from tutorials. It's all just the techniques I learned from the previous days. I want to say thank you for watching to the end of this video. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you for hitting that like button. If you didn't hit that like button already, uh, then hit it now. <laughs> Fun fact, this video actually took longer to edit than it did to make, so this video took longer than 10 days to edit. Other than that, um, subscribe as well, and that's it. Peace. Ah.